Hi guys, um, another Diablo 4 um, hardcore video. Um, whilst we're waiting for the mid -white, mid winter blight to start, um, it starts about 6 pm UK time. So I thought I'd do a quick video on um, a few tips on what I think the the best chances you've got of survivability for hardcore. Let's get it. Okay, so the first tip really that um, I've learned is from the vampiric powers. Um, in my opinion, um, uh, this season is the best for hardcore because these powers are just so over overpowered at the minute. Um, they work with any build. I mean, at the minute I'm, I'm enjoying the barbarian and the, and the druid because I, I quite enjoy the heavy hitters. But any build, sorcerer, necromancer, they're all good with these um, powers. Um, and these are just my tips are the, the best ones to choose. Um, the first one that I go for is this one um, because it does um, damage without you even needing to do anything from distance uh, distance and close enemies. So what you tend to find is once you get this up to level 3, which I'm level 2 at the minute, uh, without even doing anything, you, you can kill the smaller enemies like the bats and the spiders and you know, I mean, things like that. And, but it, it also does a, a hell of a lot of damage. It's really, really good. It's the most OP. Um, when you're running soft core, you don't need to really run this, but, but you can. Um, but um, when you're running hard core, this is a must, um, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the um, next one is Rampart, uh, because it gives you a barrier um, if you don't move for three uh, seconds. And it's a, it, 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 it's another one that, that can really, really help you and uh, keep you alive for longer. Um, that's the main two, I think. I think, I think other than that, I said, it's, it's personal choice. I mean, I've gone for um, Undying, uh, Resilience and Prayer of the Week. Uh, but you can choose whichever ones you want. You know what I mean? Which, whichever ones uh, suit your build. But those two, the hem, Hemominacy, however, whatever, however way you pronounce it, and um, uh, Rampart uh, are your two main ones for hardcore. Okay, so my next tip um, is two tips really. And one, and one is the um, uh, World Tier. Um, don't progress the World Tiers too quickly um, because the leap of um, power needed to enemy damage it goes up a lot in the world tiers um, definitely don't start a world tier 2 um, when you're running hardcore it doesn't really matter when you're running softcore but when you're running hardcore um, stay on world tier 1 because the XP that you get versus the time it takes to kill the enemies is not worth it you're better off just staying on world tier 1 and just getting up to um, uh, level 50 as quickly as possible uh, once you hit level 50 that's when the paragon board comes into effect and the paragon board is really where a lot of your power and survivability will come from especially for hardcore um, players um, so my advice is get to around 55 60 and then go up to world tier 2 and then get to around 60 to 70 and then do world tier 3 and then around 80 85 then world tier 4 um, the reason for that is because you get a lot of the Paragon Ball will be unlocked by the time you get to World Tier 3 and World Tier 4. You would have unlocked a, hell, a heck of a lot of it. Um, and, and like I said, it, it really does help with damage and survivability. Um, I, I, I've got a, um, a, a Druid um, character and it is flying through the enemies. Nothing, I'm unstoppable and that's because I've, I've held back on going up the World Tiers. I think I'm still on the World Tier 3 on that one. But um, the survivability is just uh, immense. Um, I do believe that the Druid and the Barbarian, Barbarian are the best for hardcore because they're heavy hitters. But it, this method that I'm using works for any character you want to use. Um, you don't want to die and have, have to keep restarting. So just take your time. And like I said, I do know, I do know that it, uh, you might feel like a bit of a grind sometimes because the gear that drops as well. Um, you might only see increases of 1% here or 2% there. But don't worry about that. That's The gear is not your concern. Your concern is the Paragon board. Okay, and my uh, final tip, my fourth tip for now, is the um, Blood Harvest. Um, don't use any of your keys. Don't use any of your um, vials, the blood, the blood vials that drop, until you're at least Will Tier 3. Because they 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 are usable no matter what tier you're in. It doesn't matter which one you're in, um, because you you will not get any legendaries until you uh, will tier three or will tier four. 
So you're just wasting your time, really. It's, it's just going to be for loot that's just just no good for you at all. It's, it's the same loot that can be got from the ground. It's the same loot that can, that can be got from the Whisper Tree. Um, so save them, stack them up, uh, keep them for as long as you can. Um, definitely use the blood vials um, in the in the little urns that are dotted around the place. Uh, try not to take on the, the uh, three urns one, you know where, where, it's, where quite a lot of bosses come, unless you're quite high level and you and you, 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 you feel you can manage. It. Like I've got a druid character that I, I know I can manage it, but you know what I mean try and do it with a group. Um, if you see a group of people around, if you pay for it, they'll jump, they'll join in. You know what I mean. So uh, the the, also the tip there is if, is if they join your group it might get harder but if they're just in the area they'll help you to kill the enemies but the enemies won't get harder so if you see people running around put in the first one and you'll know because they'll hang around because they, obviously they want the free loot um, I've had a lot of my legendaries from, from doing that and, and, and from uh, doing the urns the single urns I think they only take 15 uh, blood vials um, I've had a lot more luck from them than I have from the from the chest. So um, yeah, just stack them up. Wait till you get to uh, level three, and then what I do is I, I I'll judge it and I'll say right, if I've got 150 when I get to level three, will tier three, I'll spend 50 at will tier uh, three, and then I'll spend 100 then when I get to will tier four. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, like I said, I'll put a build in the description. Um, the build I would I would stick to for if you want to run a barbarian. But like I said, just change the vampiric powers because it's not a hardcore build. It's just a normal build, but it does really work for hardcore. But change your vampiric powers um, to the ones I suggested. Like I said, you don't have to. It's just advice, but I, I really do think it works. Um, I'll show you what the rampart does really quick. As soon as I go out here, it should activate in a second. Um, but yeah, there you go. So you get a little um, force field around you as long as you don't move. I mean, and it, it, it really does help. It really does work. Um, so yeah, so that's my tips for hardcore with um, a barbarian build. Enjoy.